The floor is here. Welcome to the Love Lab. It's Thursday. You know what that means. It is live from the Love Lab night. I am beyond excited. I'm going to talk a few minutes, give people a chance to join. You know how we do this. I am so excited because tonight is the first night of the NBA Finals. I'm sorry, y'all, but I love basketball. I have loved basketball for a long time. It's not a new thing for me, but I love it. Now, you know, my kids are little. I have, what, my son is 22, my oldest, but I have a nine-year-old and a four-year-old. So, you know, it's tough with littles to, to get a chance to watch sports. So I really haven't had a chance to get into it in recent years as much as I would like to. But make no mistakes. When it comes playoff time around here, it's basketball season for real. And the finals are so exciting. And this is the year that history is made, right? The same three teams have made it to the finals three years in a row, the Cavs and the Warriors. I think that's awesome. The same two teams. Did I say three teams? <laughs> the same two teams have made it three years in a row. Thank you, husband. <laughs> He's always looking out for me. Hey, Travel, I see you there, cuz. How you doing? So I'm really excited, and that's what, part of why I have on my home t-shirt tonight, because I am a California girl. I am from Cali. Does that mean I'm rooting for the Warriors? Not necessarily, but it does mean I'm a California girl, and whatever is still home. So y'all know I'm from Calabama. If you don't know where Calabama is, check out my page, cheflorius.com. I've definitely got a blog up there about where in the world is Calabama. That's a long story. So I'm excited, though. Tonight we're going to be making West Coast Wings. Because it's playoff time. I mean, it's finals time. Like, that's even bigger than the playoffs. And the interesting thing about this year's basketball season is the playoffs have not been that interesting. I mean, everybody's kind of swept through for the most part. You know, it's really been not even any real competition. But we've all just been waiting for Cleveland and Golden State to play. And it's about to be on. I'm so excited. So I decided that in honor of the finals and tonight being game one, being played in Golden State, also known as... Kelly, my home, I'm going to make West Coast Wings. Now, this week, I was so excited. Okay, I have to tell you what I did this weekend. This is so exciting. Sunday afternoon, I have, I think I've mentioned on here before, there's a podcast called The NBA Sharpshooters. And these are some young, young men that I know. They do this podcast every week. They are amazing young men. Um, they have beautiful hearts. They're, just, they're great guys. And they just did episode 10. Okay, so this was episode 10 of the NBA sharpshooters. And they found out through a series of comments, talks, and whatnot that I love basketball. So they asked me if I would come on and talk basketball and party food. I was so excited. First of all, y'all, I'm in my 40s, and these young men are in their 20s, and they wanted to hear what I had to say. I was beyond myself <laughs> excited. And then I was scared and nervous, but they were so awesome and wonderful. And I had a good time. We talked about... Legend, legendary players and my favorite player, Rashid Wallace. And Anyway, it was a blast. So I'm going to encourage you, please, for me, go on to their um, podcast. I hope some of them are having a chance to watch this tonight. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to try to remember to put up the link to it. It's on my page. That's it. It's on my page. So if you're watching this, you're already at the Chef Laurie's page. So if you scroll down, you'll see on there, I have the NBA Sharpshooters on there where I... Um, the link to the podcast, so there's episode 10. So that was a lot of fun. Hey, Marilyn, how you doing? Good to see you. Your buddy is here. <laughs> That's my good friend from California. Um, my good friend, Miss Marilyn from California. Um, and so anyway, I was just really, really excited to be on the show with the guys. So we're going to jump into West Coast Wings tonight in honor of the fact that I'm from California. Home. And game one of the finals is being played in Cali tonight. Again, please do not mistakenly think that I'm necessarily rooting for the Warriors. I'm not necessarily not, <laughs> not necessarily rooting for the Cavs, but I'm not necessarily rooting for the Warriors. But I just like this t-shirt, and I wear it whenever I want to, but it seemed especially appropriate tonight. So, West Coast Wings, right? So I did, earlier today I did a live when I was at the Asian Market Shopping. And some of you may have seen it, and I was telling you I was getting this lemongrass first. I love the Asian Market. They have the most beautiful produce. It's so vast. There's stuff you can't find anywhere else, and their prices are so good. I love going there. But anyway, I was there, and I was doing some stuff with some lemongrass, and y'all, I have to keep it real with you. I had this great idea and concept. It did not work out like I thought it was going to work out. So I just had to let that go. You know, sometimes you just got to let it go and move on. And I think we came up with a better idea. So... 
West Coast wings. What does that mean? When you think of California and the West Coast and food, there's a whole lot of things that come to mind. Garlic comes to mind because there's Gilroy, which is in Northern California. They have a big garlic festival every year. They have garlic ice cream. It's, the, it's like amazing. Also, in the Bay Area where Golden State plays, um, in San Francisco, there's a restaurant called The Stinking Rose that actually has garlic ice cream even. And so it, it, garlic is a big thing in California. Another big thing in California is Asian cuisine. That's really popular there because just... Um, just geographically where California is located, you have an Asian population, so you've got a whole lot of Asian food in California, which is delicious. And you have a lot of Mexican food in California, which is second to none. I remember going to Tijuana when I was probably 19 or 20, something like that. And, oh, you look on the side of the road when you're on your tour bus and you see the, um, the little stands with the tacos and stuff, and you want them so bad because you know they taste good, but they will jack you up if you eat. <laughs> but the Mexican food is really good. So... We're making two kind of wings tonight, okay? We're making two wings. I'm going to try to keep it moving so we won't be too long. We're making Mexican chipotle wings, and we're making Asian sweet and spicy wings, okay? So all together, that's West Coast wings. Now, the Mexican chipotle wings are kind of a one-step wing. You baste them. I'm roasting all the wings tonight, okay? I'm trying to be healthier, and I think roasting wings is actually really good. You, it's a one-step process. You just coat them with your seasoning, and you put them in the oven. I'm going to show you what I do on that one. Now, the Asian sweet and spicy is a little different. That one, I roast them with a nice seasoning, but then I make a sauce that I dip them in and then let the sauce bake into them as I finish them off, okay? So, let's get going. I'm going to start on the sauce because it needs some time to cook down. So, here we've got, in this pan, I have some orange juice and pineapple juice, okay? Now, this is a recipe that I've originally found from um, Emeril. I've, everybody loves Emeril and Mr. Bam. I love Emeril. He's been one of my favorite cooks for a long time. I've adapted this recipe, um, and I've made it kind of my own, made some changes to it, um, but I, that was where I kind of found the baseline. So if you're ever looking for just a baseline of it, I always want to give credit where credit is due. So it starts with some orange juice and pineapple juice. You add to it some brown sugar, okay? And then you're going to add to it, hey, Yolanda, girl, I saw your new writing that went up today. It was beautiful. Please post your link down there. It was absolutely lovely. Yolanda has the most beautiful poetry. It, it was a beautiful poem about Pentecost. Okay, so anyway, we've got apple juice and, I'm not apple juice, orange juice and pineapple juice. I put some uh, brown sugar in there. This is some soy sauce. And this is some mirin wine. Mirin wine is a form of sake. Um, it's not alcohol is more about it's a flavor thing for Asian foods and then also we're going to put in there some ginger you guys know I love my little ginger cups that these are those cups that I'm always showing you with the basil and everything these are just the bomb so I'm gonna put some ginger in here I love ginger ginger has some bite in it that's just it just makes me happy all over and of course we're gonna have some garlic in it you can't have anything from California without garlic remember we started off talking about all the garlic in California this is about two tablespoons of garlic in here. It's minced garlic because we want some nice texture in this sauce. So I'm going to put this minced garlic in here as well. And now with that ginger, if you don't have peeled ginger or, you know, anything like that, you can always use ginger powder because you'll get the same flavor. I just like the texture and the look of it um, when it's like that. Okay, and then we're going to take all of these things and whisk it together. Okay, and we're going to let it get nice and hot and boiling and then let it reduce down okay and then after it reduces we're going to add it to our chicken that's been cooked now we can also take I have some scallions here I'm going to put a few scallions in here now to cook with it and then I'm going to use some for garnish afterwards you can also put lemon I mean orange lemon zest you see my mind is still on lemon curd um, from last week but anyway you can put orange zest in here as well um, but I just, I usually don't. I don't know why I'm not a zest fan. And you want to bring this to a boil and then let it reduce because it's going to get nice and thick. Now, if you want the sauce to be thicker than it starts off being, all you have to do is add some cornstarch to it or some of that extra fine um, flour that you've seen me use in the past. Cornstarch will thicken it up, but the thing with cornstarch is it'll make it kind of gel a little bit. So as it sits, it'll start to kind of gel and be solid. Um, the extra fine extra fine flour, I always say flour gravy or gravy flour, but the extra fine flour, um, it won't gel like that. So it's really up to you. Both of them work. Just know that the cornstarch will make it gel a little when it gets, uh, when it settles. But anyway, okay, so this sauce is going to keep going. We're going to let this come to a nice boil and reduce. 
in a perfect world, after this comes to a boil, you want to let it reduce for about 20 minutes or so. Because as these sauces continue to cook down, they get thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker. And it's awesome. Now, over here, we've got two things of chicken. So first, I'm going to show you how we do our Mexican chipotle chicken. It's actually really, really easy. We make a quick marinade. Now, you can always marinate your wings. Are you looking at me or is it looking at the pot? Let me the pot. Oh, come back to me, please. <laughs> Hi again. <laughs> this is so much fun. Shane and I have such a good time doing this because he's sitting back there like, no, it's on the pot. And I'm like, no, no, put it on me. <laughs> but I was showing you the food, and so he did the right thing. It's, this is just fun. I, I, this is, like, really fun. You know what I'm saying? Okay, all right, let me get back to it. Hey, Sam, I see my girl is here. Okay, so this is chipotle pepper. Now, you can, chipotle pepper is not a difficult thing to do. You can make your own. You just need some chipotle seasoning and put some brown sugar and some salt and some garlic powder, blah, blah, blah. Or you can buy a packet that just says chipotle pepper. It really doesn't matter, okay? So this is um, chipotle pepper. I'm just going to put it in here so you can see how this little marinade comes together. And I'm going to put about two tablespoons in here. Well, three tablespoons in here. Y'all know I love flavor. And then I'm going to add some olive oil to it. Now, what we're going to make with this is effectively a paste. And I love making pastes when I do this because it cooks up nice and crispy. So you're going to eyeball your um, olive oil until it looks pasty like you want it. See? So I'm just adding it slowly. Right there. Can you see that, guys? Now remember along the way, if you have questions, please ask questions. Let's chat, talk to me, tell me what you're thinking and all that good stuff. Okay, can you see that? See that's getting pasty. That's a little looser than I actually like it. So what I'm going to do is add just a little more chipotle to it. Okay, now this chipotle pepper is not, it's not a hot wing necessarily, um, but it is a wing that has a little kick to it. I like kick. Now, see how that is? That's a little better. Now, I'm going to also add in there some garlic powder because I love garlic powder. And I have yet to meet something that garlic powder has not made better. So this is a half a tablespoon cup. I'm going to just add about a tablespoon of garlic powder in here. Now, notice I'm doing garlic powder and not garlic salt. There is really plenty of salt in here. And we will sprinkle some more salt on our chicken. But just be very careful that you don't let this turn too salty on you. Because then you'll all of a sudden be like, oh my God, there's salt wings. And that's not good, okay? So, just giving this a quick stir because it's starting to boil like we want it to. And I'm going to let it come to a nice rolling boil. And then, mmm, woo, that smells so good. Oh my God, that smells good. I love this. Okay, so, back to our Asian wings. See that? That's my paste, okay? So, I'm going to take this. And I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil in here on the chicken before I put the marinade on it, okay? And I'm going to put a little bit of salt on it because remember, I'm always telling you guys, season your meat. Remember, season your meat because if you don't season the meat, I'm trying to tell you, it will not taste good. It'll come out and it'll have this really nice coating and it'll be all pretty looking. And as soon as somebody bites into it, it may have a nice coating, but I'm telling you, trust me, the meat will be boring. And then you'll be upset because you will have spent time and energy in that meal. And you'll know it doesn't taste right. But nobody will want to hurt your feelings and tell you that it's not good because they know you put effort into it. But you're sitting there. Then you want to get mad at them for not telling you the truth about it. But then you don't want to get mad at them because you know that they're telling the truth by them not saying anything. They're actually being not. You know what I'm talking about? It just becomes one big thing. So just season your meat and avoid that, okay? There. That's the moral of the story. All right, so there's some olive oil on here and some salt. The reason I didn't do salt and pepper is because this has the pepper. Now I'm going to take this paste, and I'm just going to pour it into my meat. Just like this. See there? And after I pour it in there, I'm going to just scrape a little bit. Okay? We're going to mix them. Look at this. Mix the chicken all up in it. Just stir it up in there. Okay? This is really very easy. I love making these wings. They're so simple. Sometimes, like, you know, you get home. For us, if we get home on a Sunday afternoon from church or whatever, and I just need to make something quick, you can do this chipotle wing thing here. You can do this with chicken pieces. It doesn't just have to be with wings. It actually kind of ended up being a little bit of an accidental thing. I was rushing around one Sunday evening, and I hadn't cooked dinner, and I think I'd taken a nap. You know how it goes. And I was like, oh, God, what am I going to do? And then I looked, and I was like, oh, I have some chipotle seasoning, and I always have olive oil. And I thought, huh, let me see what happens. And it was an instant hit. And ever since then, these are the ones Shane likes the best. So you see how I've done that? 
Okay, now I'm going to go get the pan and we're going to put them in our cookie sheet. The good part about, Chipotle, about roasting your wings is they get crispy. Now, the way I do this, I take a cookie sheet, I cover it in foil because it's less mess when I'm cleaning up, and I take these little, this baking rack. These are the same things that you use to cool your cookies and things. Just take this baking rack and put it right there inside the sheet, okay? And then after I put it inside the sheet, I just put the wings on it. So what will happen, let me see, you know what? Hold on, look at this. I want a little more seasoning on these wings. Look at them, come here, they look a little too fair. Now I'm going to put just a little more. And don't worry, we have a sauce on here that we're going to put with these on the side, too. I just looked down at these wings, and I thought, you guys look like you need some more flavor. There, now that looks better. Now tell me something, though, guys, because you guys are awful quiet tonight. Who are you rooting for in these finals? I told y'all I'm not necessarily rooting for the Cavs just because I'm from Cali, but I'm not necessarily rooting for... Cleveland, I have reasons for both teams to win, and I think I will be okay either way. <laughs> However it works out, I will be okay. But I don't know. Who are you guys rooting for? You're going to spray this pan with some cooking spray, okay? Now, here's the good part and the fun, the key to um, when you're roasting these wings and you do this whole cookie sheet thing, what happens is the wings... that your wings will be crispy. And that's the, that's why you like doing this. Okay, and I see Ed from Philly is on. What's up? I haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you. Hello to you and your lovely family and your lovely young men. I saw your son was just in a play. That's so awesome. Singing like his daddy, I hope. Okay, see here, guys? See how I'm doing this? Oh, these are going to be so good. When I told the family I was doing wings tonight, I'm not kidding you, Richard got so excited, I didn't know if he was going to make it or not. And I was hoping, when you listen to the podcast, guys, I mentioned earlier that I was on a podcast this week with some very nice young men that I know um, who do, Shane, friends of Shane and I, that do a podcast on basketball, and they invited me to talk with them after they found out I was a basketball fan. So that's on the NBA Sharpshooters. And um, we talked about wings, and I said that I think wings are the MVP food of any game party. Every, every time I have, I have a Super Bowl party every year, Yolanda knows that. She's been at my Super Bowl parties before she moved. I miss you, girl. And Sam knows that. She's been at my Super Bowl parties. Um, but I always have wings. Now, you see I'm also doing tenders. Why am I doing tenders as well? Okay, you guys are going to laugh at me. But you want me to tell you the truth why I'm doing tenders? I don't like wings. I, I don't like wings. And, and isn't that crazy? But I don't like a lot of things even though I cook them. Oh, we got a question. Hold on. All right. Travel says, do you have something other than foil in the pan? I just have the pan and this baking rack. I don't know. Maybe were you able to see the rack I showed you earlier? It's basically just a cookie, like a cookie cooling sheet. Um, the kind of sheet you'd use to cook cool. cool. <laughs> To cool cookies on, I put it on there because it gives a little bit of elevation. See that? Just a little bit of elevation so that the fat can drip through and the wings can be crispy. This is a much healthier way to eat your wings, I'll be honest with you. Um, but, okay, so I was telling you guys, I don't like wings, but I like tenders. So usually whenever I make chicken, I make wings for um, Shane and my mom and Richard. But I, me and my littles... Well, Maddie likes wings. I think you could, Maddie likes wings. You know how girls are at that age. One day she likes them, the next day she doesn't. But she kind of likes wings. And so I usually, but I make um, the tenders for me, and they last longer, and then I can do other things with them in the end. Okay, so let's see who we have here. Hello, Kim. How you doing? Congratulations on Caroline getting ready to graduate. She's so beautiful. And hey, Ken. So Kim and Ken. Ken is our cousin. Hey, cuz. All right, I put the last of that seasoning on there. Now, what I'm going to also do, because I want these wings to have good color. Where did I put that Chipotle? I have, here it is. 
I'm going to take a little pat, a little chili, chipotle chili, because chili and things, these are your friends. Remember I told you all that before. I'm going to sprinkle this on there on the top. This will just give it a nice little top coating of kick. Okay, and I'm going to roast these in a 425 degree oven for 40 minutes. Now, that is the only slight downside to roasting chicken wings is it will take longer. It's much, much quicker to fry them. Uh, but it's messier and it's really not as healthy to fry them. And we do want to be healthy. We don't want to just keep eating bad just because it tastes good. So, I mean, now that's within reason because y'all know my rule around things like Super Bowl parties and stuff. Don't start talking to me about, oh my God, it's not, it's not that day. But right now, in all fairness, we're going to be good. Now, I don't flip my wings when I cook them. Some people flip them halfway through, nothing wrong with that, but I like to leave them like this and they just get a nice crispy coat. So I'm going to put these in the oven on 425 degrees. We'll be done with our live. They won't be done before we're done, but I have some that I already cooked earlier. So let me get these going in the oven. It's wing night. Okay, I'm going to set my timer for 40 minutes. And I'm going to show you guys my wings that came out in a second. So you can see how that is. The sauce is still bubbling and cooking up nicely. My wings that came out. Sorry, you put the wrong one. These are the tenders. These are the chipotle wings when they come out. See that? They're nice and crispy. See? Now, you're not going to get the crunch of a fried wing, okay, but you're going to get a nice crispiness, see? This is the side I leave up. This is the underside, see? And then what I do is I use a sauce. Now, the sauce that I make to go with the wings, I make a sour cream, lime, and chipotle sauce. So this is a nice dipping sauce that goes along with it really good it cools it off if it's a little too spicy because you know how the kids are ah! so I'm gonna take a little bit off of here so you can cut that see this tender piece of chicken see see how it's done all the way through and through and then I'm gonna dip a little in the sauce mmm mmm <laughs> oh these are good and mmm they're not really spicy no that's not true they're not like hot that's what I'm trying to say they have very good flavor mmm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh man, those are really good. Shane, you should try that. Man, those are better than I remember. Okay, so back to our sauce here. Wow. You know, this will sound self-serving, but I trust that you guys will understand. But sometimes I'll cook something. And it's really good. And I just go, wow. That was really good. Like, I could, okay. Let me move on. Let me move on. I'm going to say this real quick, though, before we start talking about the Asian wings. Um, I uploaded this week another new recipe. A video of uh, broccoli salad. Broccoli salad went up this week. That's a fun summer recipe. It's a really nice salad, easy to make, and tastes really delicious and simple. Okay. So now, back to our Asian wings. So here we have Asian wings. Now the Asian wings, how we're going to season them. Again, the thing I hope that you pick up from this is that whenever you're doing roasted wings or anything, especially for parties, it's the same basic thing. You're going to season your chicken, use an oil of some sort so that it coats, and then you're going to just put it in the oven. Make sure it has good seasoning. That's really all there is to it. So you just find a combination that you like and you go for it, okay? It's really not difficult, and I'm hoping you guys pick that up and we'll, we'll do some of this. So... These wings, what we use for these, we make, we kind of make a seasoning for these. We're going to use um, some garlic powder. What is this? What's this juice? Hmm. Hmm. I had another measuring cup. Ah, there it is. Hold on, guys. Aha. Okay. I'm going to use, put, this is again a half a tablespoon, so I'm going to put about two total tablespoons of garlic powder in here. And then I'm going to put some seasoned pepper in here. I love seasoned pepper. You know, I'm always talking about that too. Okay. Again, it's equal parts of that seasoned powder. <laughs> the cat got my tongue tonight. Okay. And then we're going to also put some garlic salt in here. And the reason I'm using garlic salt is because I really want the flavor to get in there. Okay. So, and remember, like we said, if you just joined us, 
Chef Lorius believes in one big thing, season your meat. Okay, and now we're gonna, this is our garlic powder, seasoned pepper, and salt. And in this one, we're not gonna use olive oil, we're gonna use sesame oil. And the sesame oil is going to help really infuse the Asian flavor in this chicken. So, similarly to the other one, we're gonna make a paste, okay? Let me get my other little mixer out. Okay, I'm gonna make a paste. All right, see? There we go, so it means I want more oil. Remember, eyeball it until it gets the look that you want it to have. I will put approximately, you know, three tablespoons of each thing, each item that I have in there, especially your salt and peppers, you wanna keep equal parts of those so that you keep the balance in that. You guys are really quiet tonight. Now, if somebody gotta have a question about something, Okay, there we go. If you, nobody told me who you're rooting for. Does that mean none of you guys are rooting for anybody? Okay. Hey, Karen's on. Hey, cuz. Okay, see there? Seasoned salt. I mean, not seasoned salt. Why do I keep saying the wrong things tonight? Karen is Ken's sister, guys. Hey, Karen and Ken. Okay. Y'all are so quiet. You guys are waiting for the game, aren't you? Here's our paste. Mmm, you smell? Oh, you can't smell that. I was going to say, you smell that? I'm hoping to change my... Buddy, is that Buddy? Is that Buddy on my friend, Buddy? Buddy's the sound man. Hey, Buddy. Buddy smoked some amazing looking pork something the other day. What was that you made the other day, Buddy? Oh, I, Buddy and I cooked for at the kids' camp at our church together. Well, Buddy's the lead cook. I'm a helper. But the other day, he made some stuff on his smoker. OMG. Okay, back to the paste. The sesame oil in here really gives it a nice flavor. So, we're going to season this meat. Remember, season your meat. Just use a little bit of this garlic salt and a little bit of this garlic, a little bit of the seasoned pepper. You can use garlic pepper, okay? And just a little touch of the sesame oil. Remember, you don't want the meat to be boring. You don't want the people to be stuck trying to tell you that they liked it and you know it didn't taste right. Because if you know it didn't taste right, anything they say is going to make you mad. Ah, pork belly burnt ends. Man, buddy, that thing looks so good. That thing looks really good. I was impressed. I'm always impressed because Buddy's a great cook, but he really, he really impressed me with that. That was beautiful. Okay, so you see this? Our meat is basic seasoning is on our meat. Now we're going to pour our paste on there. Okay. And again, the sesame, when you, when if you do this, I'm hoping some of you guys will try this because we've got a whole bunch of good games coming up right now. You've got uh, hockey finals going and basketball. It's a perfect wing season. See there? And then you're just going to stir this in here like we did the other one. Ooh, that smells good. Can you smell the chain? You smell the sesame oil? Oh, he's looking in the camera. He's being, oh, <laughs> yes, that was his yes. He smells it. Okay, and we're going to do, see there? Look, look how beautiful that is. Doesn't that look good? You know, you don't have to even use a sauce on this one. You can just eat these like this. Okay, so we're going to put these on a uh, cookie sheet as well with the same concept going under on the um, cooling rack so that we have the space. And then when we take them out, let me put this over here. They're going to come out like this. Ta-da! Look at that. Isn't that amazing? They're done. <laughs> well, a few of them are done. So what I'm going to do with these that here is take them. I got another bowl here, guys. I'm going to put these in here. Okay? Same thing. And you want to cook these. Roast these to about 90% done. You can go to 100%. It's fine. Oops, sorry. But you only really have to go to maybe 90%. So if you don't want to go the full 40, 50 minutes, maybe just go 35 and then you can go back and add some more sauce to it. Okay, you take it like that. Now I'm going to add my sauce here that I'm boiling. See that? See, it's been cooking down. That's why I did the other wings first to let this one cook down. Then I'm going to take some of this. And I'm just going to pour it over the chicken, just like that, okay? And you don't need a ton of this. You just want enough of it to get in there to give it a glaze. Now, if you want this to be thicker, like I told you, you can use cornstarch or you can use, um, uh, what's the other stuff? The extra fine flour that I like to use. Now, cornstarch around here, we have a joke because I use cornstarch on everything. And sometimes I make messes with the cornstarch, <laughs> but oh well. <laughs> But on this, it's a good thing. So, see how this is? Now I'm just going to put these back on here. 
<laughs> Lisa says we need scratch and sniff. Yes, I wish you could so you could smell what the sesame oil does. See, and then you just put them back on like this. See? I put them back in. And then after I put them in, I'll put them back in the oven for just about five minutes and let this sauce cook in. Now, another way you can make these wings, oh, see the chicken is so tender, it fell apart. Oh, that's a good sign. The other good thing you can do is you can fry the wings when you're doing this. I've done that before where I fry them. I'm trying to make sure I coat each one. Uh, I fry them and then after I fry them, I dip them in the sauce and that works too. Either, either way is fine, honestly. But we're really trying to be a little bit healthier and roast and bake. We're almost done, guys. We are almost done. Hang in there with me. Remember, also, while I'm doing this, please, if you have not had a chance, please go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. Chef Lori is on YouTube. What do we got here? Ah, Eileen is here. Hello, Eileen from Florida. Good to see you. Okay, and I'm just going to put a little, see, I'm just going to put a little more of this on here. And this chicken is done, so there's nothing that's, no cross-contamination or any bad stuff going to happen. And this is just going to give it a nice glaze, and it'll make them even a little sticky. These don't have a secondary sauce on them like the others do, because these, oh, that looks so good. You know what? These are technically done, so I'm actually going to steal this little piece right here. This one right here, I'm going to steal it and put it on a plate. Well, I'm not stealing it. It's mine. I can't steal. Oops. Sorry, guys. You can't steal your own chicken, but I'm going to just take this one because it's technically done. And I'm going to taste this. Okay. Oh, yes. Thank you. Shane is the best producer in the world. We are doing West Coast Wings because, as we said, just reminding you for those of you who have just joined us, tonight is the first game of the NBA Finals. It is the Cavs and the Warriors. They are playing in California tonight. I am a California girl. I'm a Calabama girl, but today I'm a California girl. I'm kind of, I don't know exactly who I'm rooting for. Hey, Eric, I see you're there too. I'm not sure exactly who I'm rooting for. I go back and forth, but listen to the NBA Sharpshooters podcast, episode 10. I was on there this week. It was fun. We talked basketball, but these are West Coast inspired wings. So we have Mexican Chipotle wings and we have Asian sweet and spicy wings. And this is my little piece. Mm. Mm. Oh, I love these. I keep putting my stuff in the wrong place. Because you guys know my food happy dance. So, these are good. I love the pepper. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to put these in the oven. And guys, we're actually done with all of our wings. How about that? Okay, let me put these back in. So you've seen these. Okay, I'm going to put them in just for a few minutes. Let that sauce kind of bake in and glaze in. And our other wings will finish. Our sauce will continue reducing. And that's it. So I hope everyone enjoys the game tonight. I hope you enjoy. Oh, wait, he's telling me to do something. Hold on. <laughs> ah. You guys, I'm excited. The game is starting tonight. I'm so glad Shane's here. Thank you, Shane. He's keeping me on track. I'm a little off tonight, I guess. Anyway, these are our Chipotle wings. We've taken these out, and they have some sauce with them to cool them off if they're too spicy for you. Delicious. These are really good. And we've got our Asian wings. This is our Asian sauce. See how the sauce is continuing to cook down and reduce? It will continue reducing. And if you're saying, why don't you have more sauce? You don't need sauce. It's going to soak into your chicken. Okay? Uh-oh. Oops. <laughs> the sauce is going to soak into your chicken and help your chicken be moist and tender. All right. Well, you guys have been a quiet bunch tonight, but I'm glad you joined me. Please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Chef Lorius. Look here on my page, Chef Lorius. Find more information, more fun recipes and things you can try. Please go to the NBA Sharpshooters podcast. I'm so glad to see you, and let's see who wins tonight. Go Cavs! <laughs> Thanks, guys! I think I'm making a mess. I think I need to go now before I really embarrass myself. I'm glad you guys love me. <laughs> Take care, guys. Happy cooking.